Hey lash artists, so today we're going to be talking about lash layers and lash rows. Some people call it layers, others call it rows. So either way, this is actually essentially the same thing. So um, on this channel, we try our best to actually educate and support you. So that's why you should actually subscribe to our channel and make sure to watch the uh, next videos that we're going to be having, that we're going to have. So uh, also make sure to watch until the end because we're gonna actually be showing two different techniques on how you can um, tape the layers and work smoothly with your lash layers. Okay, so what are layers or lash rows? Um, and why is it important to actually be able to work with them in a uh, organized way? So um, I'm gonna show you guys an image here. As you can see, these are lash rows. Most clients will typically have from one to four layers um, or rows. Uh, some clients will have more, others will have less, uh, depending on the thickness of their lashes. Um, so it's really, really important to actually be able to work with rows because it's gonna save you so much time, especially when you're working with really complex sets like uh, volume and mega volume, they will actually save you time to be able to isolate them. Um, the other important factor on why you should actually know how to work with rows is because you actually really wanna avoid stickies. Stickies will make your work look really um, kind of messy and unclean, so um, actually, isolating whichever section you're working working in correctly will ensure that does, that doesn't happen. Um, the other really important factor that you should always uh, be aware of is direction. So um, when you're doing a, any set, it's really important to um, be aware of direction. So um, working in uh, systematically in layers will ensure that your lash direction looks um, that it looks symmetrical and that it all looks like it's going in the same uh, direction um, so this is actually those are all the reasons why you typically should be working systematically with rows and why you should know what those rows are um, so Rows are actually important in mega volume and volume. However, with classic, it's also with the classic technique, it can also be used. So um, typically with volume and mega volume, you will be using um, working with rows much more often. So I'm going to show you guys a video right now on one of the taping techniques um, and so that you guys can see firsthand all the steps that is that are required in order to do a lash uh, taping and tape rows. So now that you guys saw the video on the t taping technique, I just want to mention something. It's important to um, to pick the correct tape when you're working um, when you're taping the lashes. Make sure that the tape is not too uh, sticky. Uh, the best tape to use would probably be paper tape. Um, that tape is actually really good because it will um, ensure that um, it comes the tape will come off really gently as you're peeling it off the lashes. Make sure you're actually also holding the lashes as you're pulling the tape off uh, because you don't want to pull off uh, your client's lashes that you just did. So um, that's the one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this technique. Uh, so now the next thing we're actually going to talk about right now is sequence. So um, a lot of lash artists ask what is the actual sequence that we should uh, work those rows in where do i start on which side so there's actually a couple of different um, techniques that you can use um, and then 
on this image, I'm actually we're actually gonna show those three techniques. They're uh, numbered from one to, through three. So the first technique is actually called the express technique. Typically, you would use this technique um, when you are pressed on time. So if you if you have clients uh, booked one after another, if you're pressed for time or your client is pressed for time, you can typically use this technique. It's really good for um, sets that don't take that much time, like hybrid or classic or a light volume as well. Uh, typically, we'll take about one point one and a half hour to one sometimes one hour and 45 minutes. Um, with this technique, what's important is you're actually gonna um, start with the um, inner and outer corners of the lashes first, and you're gonna basically fill them up one after the other. You're gonna do inner corner, outer corner, inner corner, outer corner, and um, followed by the middle of the client's lashes, the midline. Um, you're just gonna fill up the midline as much as you can, but the most important thing to remember is to really ensure that you fill up those inner and outer corners in order to ensure that it looks like a full, like a really nice full set. So the second technique is actually the by the book technique. So this technique um, typically takes about two to two and a half hours. Um, in this technique, we'll be working from the inner corners to the outer corners. So you're gonna do the inner corners first, uh, followed by the midline of the eye, uh, finishing off with the outer corners. This technique is actually really good for volume sets. It can also be used for mega volume sets and um, um, it's, it's usually like a very, very good technique for intermediate artists. Um, they can use this technique often. Now the third technique is the row by row technique. This is actually the most complex technique. It will typically take three to three and a half hours depending on which set you're doing, if you're doing a volume or a mega volume set. It's, it's, you can use it for both. Um, you will typically start with the outer corners first and then you will continue on to um, the midline of the eye, finishing off with the inner corners. So the inner corners are actually the most, one of the most challenging um, areas for most lash artists. So it, this is a technique that's uh, that, that is often used for um, artists that are actually um, pretty advanced because you know, inner corners are, are fairly easy for them, so they don't mind finishing with the inner corners. Now we're gonna talk about placement for lash layers and rows. So the bottom lash row is actually the row that is furthest away from the lash artist, closest to the client. So on that lash row, it's actually really important that you uh, place the um, your lash fan on the top, not on the bottom. Because if you place it on the bottom, you can actually have a um, lash drooping situation uh, where, where the extension actually droops into the client's eye, um, as you can see on this picture. Um, so in order to avoid this from happening, it's best to always consider placing the fan on the top of the client's natural lash. For the middle lash row, um, it actually doesn't really matter because the top lash layer and the bottom lash layer will be covering um, the actual um, the, the placement. So you can either place it from the top or ideally from the side and it won't really show. So you can do either or and it won't really make a difference. Now for the top lash row, it's actually uh, ideal to place the fan from the bottom. The reason you want to place your uh, lash extension fan on the bottom of the client's natural lash is because you really want to ensure that the, it looks clean from the top when the lash artist is going to brush the client's lashes. Um, it's not the, the brush is not going to get caught in the extensions and when the client is brushing uh, you know, his lashes, her lashes uh, or his lashes, they're not gonna get caught on the brush as well. So ideally, you should put the fan on the bottom of the natural lash, uh, from the bottom. 
So now we, we're gonna actually have a bonus video for you guys, which is how to isolate um, the, the lash layers with patches. So um, the benefit of isolating with patches is that you don't have that tape that will actually um, be difficult to remove. It's actually really, really easy to isolate the layers with, um, with patches. The um, drawback is actually the fact that it's a little bit more expensive and you're using more product. So the, um, you know, the patches can be a little bit pricey. And so if you're using, you know, three or four or five of, of them per eye, it can be a little bit more expensive. But we just wanted to show you guys this technique as well. So you can have, you know, a couple of different techniques to choose from. So we'll show you that video now. Hopefully you guys found this video useful and you found it uh, educational. I'd love to know what your takeaway was from this video. If um, you have any questions or clarifications that are needed, please, um, please write them in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer all of them. And uh, if you guys have any other ideas that you have for future videos, please be sure to either message us or put it in the comments below as well. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to see more uh, videos like this in the future and similar types of content.